minutes. Sorry about the noise, but uh, my machine's going. So I will um, put the sound down in a minute and play some music. Okay, this is gonna. This is just how I play around with some alcohol inks. I've done them on paper before. I think I've done a video on this. This is just which because these are thin paper, I would stick this onto card and then cut some um, bugs out. They work really well. Um, I'm going to do, today, I'm just going to, before I do the gel printing, I'm going to have a go on these, um, this paper here. I've had it a long time since I was, used to do that wax with the iron and that. I can't even remember the name of it, but I used to do that quite a lot. So these are cards from there and they're all getting a bit stained up, you know, around the edges. So I thought I would try them on, because it's non-porous. So I thought I'd try them with a bit of alcohol ink. I have got yuppie paper, but I thought I'd try it on this first. Yeah, so I've got alcohol and I've got some blending solution. I have got quite a few of Tim Holtz, but I haven't got many left now. But I've got these cheap ones that I'll use today. Um, I, yeah, I got them off Amazon. They're not a patch on the, the Ranger ones, but they do for this sort of thing. So I'm just going to just spray that alcohol um, right let's have a bit of green so you, you should um, do this with um, you know, well ventilated area oh, it's got glitter in that one <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> bits of glitter mango yeah I want some sort of bright um, bugs This is the one I've got. Yeah, it's a rechargeable one. Just gets in because I have to have it for my laser machine. So, <laughs> it's very powerful.
sponge remover. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I just had um, that there. Alright. I thought that looked nice. But I might just have a plain piece of paper. That. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay. I'll get some plain paper in a minute. Quite like that.
Okay, so they're all dry now. So I'll give you a quick flip for what we've done. Now, I don't know how this is going to heat emboss. I have no idea. So we shall see. But to be honest, we might not need it. Very shiny and lovely. That one's, um, you know, yep, yeah, a little bit because it hasn't got gold on it. So it's not shut, but it's still shiny. That one, you can see that. Love it. And another gold one there. Okay, so I've cut them all out and I love them. I love them. <laughs> out of um, that paper that I used to use for encaustic art, you know, with the iron and everything, these would would not need any um, heat embossing. They are really great. But I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do a couple just to see what happens to the paper when I heat emboss it. But there's some amazing ones here. Absolutely, look for bugs. Um, oh, look at this one. Okay, right. So bag bugs, bugs doesn't have to be um, boring. <laughs> okay, look at that, absolutely beautiful. And uh, yeah, some really, really lovely ones there. I'm really pleased with those. Oh, and this my favourite butterfly. Look at that, that's amazing. Okay, so that gold is brilliant as well on that. These are the other ones. Yeah. These will need heat embossing, but again, still some really nice patterns going on. Okay, there's a plain greeny one, the one dot of gold on. Butterfly there, all these will look nice heat embossed. Um, this one's a little bit plainish, where well, you could add a little bit of colour to that. Okay. And so there's the one here that's caught a bit of the gold look. How cool is that? So we have funky bugs. <laughs> um, that one. Yeah, really pleased. So these, this sort of one I would ink around, okay? And then heat emboss, maybe with the uh, glazes, the Tim Holtz glaze. So I might try them. So I'm going to do a couple of those. I'll do one of those butterflies and one of those. But I've got, I've got some card to stick this on and one of the butterflies. Okay, so I shall do a couple of those and I shall do a couple of these that perhaps aren't so great. Heat embossed because I don't know what's going to happen like one like, like those. Okay, so I stuck them together. Oh, just a pointer. This is what I normally do. When I do um, like a background and it's on thin paper i usually stick it onto card first before putting it through the embossing machine and then you, you know you haven't got a fiddly um cut out another shape if you know what i mean but it's just that i forgot when i was doing it but that's what i normally do <laughs> so i just think around the edges and maybe it was a little bit white here i put a little bit of the you know ink sort of just over that there's not much on here okay So these I will do with the Tim Holtz, um, what is it? Fossilised Amber. Okay. So that one I'll do with that. And then I'm going to do, I'll do that one and then I'll do that one with clear. Okay. So I don't know how this is going to react with it because I've never used this paper for embossing or card, I should say.
Okay, I might need some more, so that's why I'm getting that out. Put that over there. Okay, lost a bit of the colour because I've done it twice, so I think once will be fine, okay, because it's come a little bit yellow and we've lost the detail behind, but that's okay. So this one we shall do once, and the other one was clear anyway, so that's all right. Yeah, I'll just put this away. Yep, I think it's going to be better or clear because I mean the backgrounds are beautiful. So I will do another one of those. I'll do another butterfly, and I'll show you what I mean. It's a, it'd be a bit thin, but there we go. It's okay. Embossing powder, thicken it up a bit. Just sometimes curls. Really, I don't think you have to work underneath so much um, with, say, the Tim Holtz glazes because, you know, they're beautiful colours on their own. Of course, you can just see a bit, but it's not a lot. Which is fine. Okay. On the butterflies, I like um, them to be shinier, if you know what I mean, more like glass-like. With the bugs, like I said before, I actually quite like the pitted look because I think that looks, makes it look very natural. <sighs> Shaving brush. <laughs> All right, here we go then. Um, yep, so that's the one with the fossilized amber. Like I said, you lost the background color a little bit. Well, a lot actually. Okay, but the color is still brilliant and it still looks absolutely brilliant. So you wouldn't, you know, you could have, do most probably a normal piece of card for that. Okay, that's those. Then I actually, this one was the other butterfly that we left so that was quite similar okay so I put the clear on the top of that one and I like that was that from the same one yeah and that is absolutely beautiful there we go it's there and then that was one of the butter butterflies on that um paper you know i i really like it it actually looks like it's been you've used gold 
like enamel you know like bits of real gold in there that's absolutely amazing so that looks good and i love this one so you know it's yes they are shiny but if you look to be honest you could get away without doing it yeah because i think these look too great too and then that's one of the just the plain green one it's there let's have to see if i can get a plain green one there okay there we go so you know all it is is just slightly shinier but this is quite shiny anyway so, it sort of has a matte sheen if you know what i mean sounds funny doesn't it matte sheen <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> if you're a crafter you know what i mean right but look at this one oh my gosh i just i've got i've got to it i've got to emboss this one sorry that, that just is amazing and i love it And I've got loads of videos on embossing because I do do it quite a lot, really. I think that, that goes back to um, card making, really, because, I mean, years ago, we didn't have all these beautiful embellishments and die cuts and all that. We used to have to make them ourselves out of wrapping paper, cutting it, you know, with bits of wrapping paper and sticking it onto card. I remember it. <laughs> they actually, the gold, which I'll show you a close-up in a minute, looks like it's been inlaid with actually gold foiling. I wish she's done another couple of more coats, but I don't really need to. Look at that. Isn't that a nice, funky, bright, bright bug? Gosh, that was hard to say. <laughs> okay, though. So, here we go few more to add to my embossing list and then like i said some of the others will go in my book which i will go and do now because they get they do get tangled up a bit so but i'll keep these ones out because i use these for my journal the ones that i've already done so i don't have to do those maybe some of the other ones because to be honest they're beautiful so i mean look at that one oh my gosh <laughs> amazing <laughs> right okay well thanks very much for watching then and um, i hope you sort of got something from you know the little experiments we've been doing with the embossing pow powders and the inks and everything so the world's your oyster <laughs> get crafting okay bye